Dang gummit. Dang gummit, Cletus, you done threw the grenade at yourself. I'm sorry. Welcome back, Noodles. It's time for another episode here in our Sweden campaign. I hope you guys have been enjoying the last few episodes of the campaign where we were trying to modernize and get our armies up to speed. We've done a little bit of that in the four-parter series there. We're going to go ahead and move on now to hopefully start conquering some more. Uh, we did get um, Poland and stuff. Now, Poland and Austria are at war, which is good for us. We might be able to help out Austria here and maybe form... I would say form an alliance, but I think they're still allied with the Dutch, so they're still not going to be nice to us. We are going to try, though. I don't want to be at war with the Dutch anymore, so we're going to go with a payment plan. We're going to offer them, let's see, 3000 for peace. Is that is that okay with you guys? No. <laughs> Well, I don't want to give them my whole 6,000. We need that. Um, we did get in a fight with Poland when I had ended the turn from the last episode. We're going to go ahead and march these guys towards the base here just so we can get them regooped, regooped, and all that jazz. So, what we're going to do is actually this we're going to transfer you, if it'll let me. Okay, it won't let me. So fine, we'll just uh, not combine anybody then. <laughs> I was going to combine them to see if I could get them to go inside, but it looks like we're, I guess, out of movement and they won't let me bring them in. So, whatever. Anyways, we are still revamping the army here, trying to get our cannons back to snuff. Um, I want to keep the number that we have here since we can't recruit any more of the type of cannons that we can get from here uh we did do, do we did do some damage against these guys though so not too worried about that okay just kind of given an overlook here we have the hessians over here blockading our trading port which sucks because that's going to hurt our income for a moment while our army here has been just kind of sitting in the defensive we were going to go after berlin and but seeing how we have this Hessian army here, the last thing I want to do is go against Prussia here, grab Berlin with whatever surprises there may be in Saxony, which we still don't know, and then have to deal with some possible crap happening to us. So instead, what we're going to do, I'm going to bring this army further down to try and meet with my main army here as best as we can without hopefully the Prussian or the Hessians deciding to come through but that has gotten a little bit of a issue there with us trying to get to that I want to try and see if I can let's see we don't need the Dragoons let's see if I can get them to board this ship without going too all over the place let's see we're going to try it. There we go. And then I'm going to try and get them into this port so we can bring them out. So they can come from here and go straight down, hopefully, so we can bypass the Prussians. We still have our people here, so we're going to leave them alone. Let's see. Money-wise, what can we upgrade so we can start getting a little bit more money for what we need. As far as the mines go, we don't want to do any more unhappiness. So I don't think it's worth upgrading the mines any more than they already are. This one also gives unhappiness. I don't want to upgrade anything into unhappiness at the moment until I can kind of counteract that unhappiness. So we're just going to kind of leave things as it is for now. Uh, we could invest into the furs, which are one of our biggest trade exports. But let's take a look over here in the east. Now, we are being a bit bombarded by the Polish. 
And we were able to take Poland in, what, two episodes ago? So that's the good thing. We have it, but we need to maintain it. Over here, though, we have the chapter school. We can go ahead and upgrade that if we want, but I don't really see a need to do that at the moment. We're going to repair this buildings because, honestly, I think it's about time we do so. And then we're going to start, let's see... We could invest in some economy stuff, which we will do. We're going to upgrade that fishery. And then we're going to recruit another lineman here. And I think that will do it for the turn. Oh, the last thing we wanted to do is blockade this port. And blockade. Are we already blockading it, I believe? Okay, good. So they kicked us out of the port. Remember our ship was in that port. They kicked us out. So now we, uh, we're going to actually just blockade them and keep Denmark poor as best as possible. Okay. Pretty much suits it for what we've got done. Lithuania got that. Let's see. So over here, I think we are good enough to have just a little garrison. I don't think we need any more troops over here. We should be fine unless we see a giant army coming from Russia. When Russia eventually decides to go to war with us again. Boy, their capital makes 11000 which is... Whew, that's a lot of money. We don't. We don't make that much money right now. Um, we do need to recruit possibly another um, Dragoon for here just to keep order. So we'll look at that in the next turn. And just like that, I knew it was going to happen. Russia has now declared war on us again. <sighs> of course they would. That's fine. We have a bunch of enemies, <laughs> and they have none, so they have to go to war with someone, I guess. And with that, too, Russia has canceled our trading with them, which means we're going to lose some money for a bit. But that's okay. We'll gain it back as we were upgrading some stuff. We'll get there. Right now, I kind of want to focus on the economy side of things, even though we are at war with a bunch of people. I want to try and take a look at how our areas are looking and try to upgrade what we can, where we can. I think Norway, we should go ahead and upgrade Norway, get that back up to snuff. We are gonna go ahead and recruit a Dragoon here. And we're gonna recruit a Dragoon here. Let's see there. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade this farm. And we're going to upgrade this crafts workshop. So we're going to start building up the economy again. I guess you could say this is almost like the modernization stuff. But we need to keep a focus on our economy. So if we do lose territory, we still at least have some form or way to go about it. Now, one of the bad things that's going to happen right now, unless... Unless... It's my boat, right? Yeah. Why can't I leave? Oh, because they have a boat there. Crap. Well, then. I guess I should have thought about that so I could put a blockade here, and I didn't think about that. Now we have this. Let's take a look and see. What can I do? What can I do? We can go ahead and... What's this? That's army. Okay. I got an idea. What we're going to do first is embark our boys and then we're going to take this ship and we're going to march it this way. It's probably going to be too late because this army here is probably going to come. If they don't attack us at St. Petersburg, they might try to bypass here, which is really going to suck. But we'll see what happens. If they do go here, we might just try to sue for peace with Russia and give a, give them all our money. Because I don't see any other way about it at the moment. But we're going to try and vamp up what we can. Let's see. We I wanted to do some pirating. But we're still pirating this area. Let's see. I don't know. If I take them off. We do lose a bit of money, but not too much money. So let's bring these guys out. 
And we're going to use these guys to pirate the area. So we're going to come over here. Target this just so we can still get some money within the next turn. We'll just take what we can. That way we're still making at least a little bit more. This ship will come after this ship over here and also provide a blockade from getting into the north this way. They will have to go through Corellia. And let's see. Other than that, let's take a look at our army here. So the army, whoops. Awesome. We are already up to snuff. So that's great. The main army is good to go. I would say we need one grenadier here, but I think we can bring it from this army, right? We'll bring him into the fold. And that creates an entire army here ready to go pretty much except for that one. We'll put these guys together just to have like a little battalion. And that will work for now. I do think that this is enough to withstand some forces as long as they come through the wall. If they decide to climb the walls, we might be a bit screwed. But they have several giant infantry based armies ready to come after us. So our rake over here. How old is this man? He's been sitting out here 72 years old, my man. <laughs> He's been chilling. Now, I don't use rakes a lot because sometimes it's hard to come past them since we can't actually recruit them. They only come to us by random chance. So I don't want to have to deal with that. All right. I think that will end our turn for the time being. Oh, wait. There we go. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to march this army out. We're going to go and attack them with this. And we're going to move this army in to defend Hanover from any of the Prussians, if that comes to mind. Okay, here we go. Let's do this now. Bring you out. Put you in. And we're going to go and attack the Hessians. They don't have that many forces, so this might actually prove easy, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so, getting into the battle here. I'm not sure what they were trying to do. It looks like they were reorganizing, but uh, our boys are going to be able to head them off, which is going to be real nice for us. Trying to get everybody up to snuff here everybody's pretty much getting annihilated so this is great we also have our boys here off to the hill we're going to use our boys to snag them into the woods good charge Decent charge. <laughs> as good as we can get in the woods, you know. Alright. Let's try to get Fire at Will off. I'm going to use these guys to target them. And they are just dying real quick, which is great for us. All right, let's try and see if we can get past them a bit. We're going to see if we can target this general's bodyguard. So far, the horsey boys are doing great. We're going to uh, move these guys more this way. Try and fight them as best we can. Bring them closer to our boys. All right, we can hold off on the cannons for now. We're going to get these boys ready to go. We're going to try and 
march them this way just so we can get them to chill for a moment. Meanwhile, we got everybody else situated. They are gone. Oh, yes. The general is doing good. <laughs> All right, we can go ahead and move these guys back a bit. And we'll go ahead and start firing on them. And get these boys to start firing on these guys. Actually, right there should be nice. Go ahead and start firing here. Firing here, maybe. Kind of missing our mark. That's fine. General's bodyguard is very important to target. There we go. That's what we want to see. Trying to cone it just right. But I also don't know when they're actually shooting properly. All right, we can go ahead with our canister shot. Fire right there. You guys can go canister as well. And we'll start firing right about there, maybe. And we'll get these guys to target them. Actually, more target right here. I think this should be more dainty. We just kind of let the artillery do the work. We're going to send our horsey boys off to the back. We're going to start getting their um, artillery off that way. Our nar. Counter charge, counter charge. And the general is dead, which is perfect for us. All right, we're going to go ahead and start going after their artillery. Fire at will now. You guys pick your targets. Their line of sight is not great for that. So we're going to round shot and fire on them. And with these guys, bring them forward. Look at that. That's a lot nicer than it usually is than what we've been dealing with in the past. All right, we're gonna get our boys, get rid of their artillery. They are shattered, good to go. Come on, do it for Svenka. We have too many enemies, we need to get rid of enemies. <laughs> It's taken almost 30 episodes, but we can do it. Come on. They're broken. Okay. Let's try to get our boys. See, why do my guys die immediately on the freaking spikes? But when we deal with it with um, our enemies, they always seem to go across it fine. Some AI cheats right there. All right. We're going to get them to go after those guys now. A little bit of crossfire action, but it'll work. <laughs> the funny thing is, is I still feel like confidently we could go after the, um, we could go after Berlin and take it with this army. 
Alright, let's stop firing because they're just going to keep firing on my guys. Let's see what happens. We're going to kill each other. It just looks like they were not even trying to fire. Oh, there it goes. Well, again, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the battlefield of sorts, and I will catch you guys on the campaign map. But well, we only lost 103, which isn't bad at all. We combined some of these. We'll already have full troops except for the one. Our cannons didn't get touched, which is great. And then our cavalry, everybody should be replenished within a turn or two. But we were able to pretty much annihilate their entire army. Let's see. Howitzers, did you do good this time? I feel... Okay. Personally, I think what it is is that... I think they are getting more kills than it's being listed here. I feel like there's some kind of bug or something. I'm not sure, though. But they are not getting kills, it seems, so they're not getting experience, which makes them not that great. I don't know. I'm confused. We're going to bring our boys back. That way, just in case anything happens, we have them ready to go. Oh, yeah. We're going to combine with everybody that we can. All right. That's perfect. I uh, can't do you. No, 400. Okay. That's going to cost a little too much. But that's fine. I think we got enough. That definitely will do it. If the Prussians decide to come and attack, though, that's going to be the sucky part, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want my boys to be completely off guard. So what we'll do is actually, can we move them this way? We can. Okay, so they're at least in front. We'll see how that works out. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, now we can end the turn. As I thought, Russia has come to siege St. Petersburg. Oh, man, this is going to be a fight. They have a lot of troops. But we've conquered before. We just got to hope that, I mean, if the hole is still in the wall, we can win. So we'll see what happens. I'll catch you on the field. All right. Welcome, welcome to the battlefield. As we can see, they're all coming from the east, but I'm kind of hoping they're all going to funnel into this hole as they usually do. We're going to get our boys kind of set up in a good way, I'm hoping. We'll see how it goes, but that's kind of the goal here. Let's get everybody set up where they need to be. And what we're going to kind of do... Actually, I'm going to have these guys set up right here would be perfect. And then we'll set up one of the citizenry. Come on, let me do it. Let me do it. There we go. Like that. That way, we have the citizenry to watch out for us. And then we'll also put this citizenry. Uh, it's not going to let me do it. Ugh. There we go. Like that. Yeah, that'll work. Everybody else is pretty much guarding every door that we have. It is very dark and cloudy going on right now. What can we say when we have the smoke coming through? All right, let's slow it down just a tad so I can go ahead and start getting these cannons to fire. And kind of same thing here. Get these guys to stand their ground. 
And these are my grenadiers, so yeah, they're definitely going to uh, do some damage. They'll be able to hold their own, so. I do have some linemen ready to go. We got the reserves right here. I just kind of want to hold off what I can just for the moment to protect what we can as well. I don't think we need them there just yet. As long as we keep the cannon shot there, we should be good. But this infantry line, this is what I'm worried about. If they climb the walls, you know, we're gonna have to try and match them where we can. Might have to move these guys up. All right, let's just kind of hope for the best once again. Citizenry to hold them in place. All right, citizenry, back to where you were, please. There we go. Oh, that worked. The main thing is I don't want them to um, attack, uh, touch my cannons. That's kind of the point here. Well, we got rid of the main force that came through that way, which is great. I think I am going to go ahead and take these guys and replace them here. What we'll do is a square formation where they're at. You guys can stop firing just for the moment. We'll let them funnel in a little quicker. And I'm going to move these boys back. Oh shit. Try and get every the whole group to see if we can focus fire right there. I think we can get it with these guys. Yeah, we can pretty much focus fire on that hole. And we'll put these guys in a square formation once they get into place. Alright, square up boys. That'll help against these, um, yeah, there we go. Wow, that's a lot more devastating than I thought it was going to be. Woo! Try to funnel it in a little bit more just to see what's going on. All right, now we need to fire directly into here. Lots of Russians are gonna die today. <laughs> fire right there now. Again, if we have the artillery to do it, we should be fine. All right, I think square-wise we're good. Let's try and get these guys in a more linear progression. Come on. Let's see. Yeah, they're, it looks like they're just going to be funneling through the hole here, so we just need to maintain pressure on that hole fire where we need to and we should be good citizenry is doing their diligence they're doing it guys they're doing it jeez louise the russians are going to have to send a lot of fruit baskets they're trying to do like the stalingrad thing on me why is that like the Russian strategy? I've always wondered that. It seems throughout history that's kind of their thing. Throw bodies at it until you can't anymore because you ran out of bodies. 
Uh, let's fast forward it a little bit. Yeah, y'all can't even get close. Fast forward a little bit again. I mean, these dudes will fire as they need to, so it's not too bad. If we get in on the action here. Woo. Let's see if we can fire on him. Alright, they're all mainly right here, actually. So let's fire right about here. Ooh, it's the general's bodyguard. Actually, let's fire on these guys. Quickly, men. Don't let the bodyguard get away. Almost. <laughs> Come on. Let's see if we actually hit on them. Will that hit them harder? I feel like sometimes when you manually aim, you you tend to hit more targets than when you click on them. So, oh, that did pretty good. Ooh. All right, this citizenry is just about outsees. See, we need to get some linemen out here. All right, let's see if we can get the our cannons to fire on these. We got one citizenry left. <laughs> I'm gonna bring him to the back. I don't think he needs to die. All right, and we're going to position you guys. You target there, I want you to target this Wand him, leave him, blah blah blue blah. Never mind, y'all can come back. Let's see what happens with these guys. The fun thing is, is they have a bunch of reinforcements. Why does it seem like the smaller forts are easier to defend than the bigger forts? I don't know why that is. Boy, they are all shattered. Alright, don't fire. Don't waste your ammo. Everybody get ready, lock and load. Finish pumping your cannons. Alright, let's get the grenadiers out this way. See if we can get them to throw some grenades in there. Ah!
No need to cannon fire at the moment, but we're about to unleash help. <laughs> Throw your grenades. Ready? And throw you them grenades. Got a couple of them. Ooh, yaw. That's the, the guard horseman, too. Poke him with your sticks. Poke him with your boomy sticks. Never mind, retreat. <laughs> but they get reduced to five out of 45. Wow. We got some more linemen coming in our way. And we're gonna go grenades and see what happens. <laughs> don't fire, don't fire, just hold. Okay, now we can. And then we're going to wait for these guys to get in a little closer. Throw them, boys! Oh, just a little bit out of range, but we got like one or two. Tee hee! <laughs> Got line infantry. Pretty much everybody has been defeated. We have a few more infantry linemen coming through. We're going to see what happens with them. All right. Come on, grenades, guys. See what happens. Come on, do grenades. Come on, do grenades. Do the thing. There we go. It throws a couple. I got this. I got this. There we go. Do the thing. Over. Ooh, that's going to be a nice one. Oh, so delicious. <laughs> Shoot them, please. Let's see what happens. Wow! I'm just amazed by how devastating this thing gets sometimes. I don't think we've suffered a whole lot of casualties except for a few of our grenadiers. And of course the citizenry and this group of soldiers. Wow. I feel like you guys are not helping your brothers here. Ooh. No. 
now you're gonna kill yourselves. Dang gummit. Dang gummit, Cletus, you done threw the grenade at yourself. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love canister shot. It's just so devastating. When used in the right circumstances too. Holy crap. Boy, and they're still trying to... I guess they've almost got this wall knocked down. I mean, it could put a hole in it soon. We've still got... Do they have any horse people still? Or is this all... There are some Hussars. There's one group of Hussars still out. So we don't want to completely go after them just yet. Because I was hoping that we could go ahead and destroy... Or go after and um, beat them up, but... I think they're just hitting this. I don't think they're actually hitting this. Because I want to send my horsey boys out to go and attack them. But Hussars are pretty dangerous. So I don't want to... I don't know. I don't want to worry about it right now. Let's see. Let's fast forward a bit because it's getting a bit long. Getting a bit long for the murders. See if we can get them inside, because it doesn't look like they want to. Here we go. There we go. Now it's tasty. Fire! Well, that worked. Let's get another one going, boys. Oh, that's probably why. Somehow I had that turned off. I was not paying attention to that. <laughs> Ain't no sacrifice like self-sacrifice. <laughs> Alright. Let's fast forward it again. See where we're at. And tell them to stop firing. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, like, what are they doing? And now we need to go after the Hazars. So what I'm going to do... Is we're going to bring out these guys... I'm going to see if I can bait them. If I can bait them out, then I might be able to get the Hazars, kill them with my line infantry, and we'll see how that works. And then I can get my horsey boys to do what they need to do. All right, we managed to get our boys out this way. Get our horsey boys in now. What is this? Horsey boys will take them out. We're going to square up here. Come on, square up. If we square up, we can take them better. Hopefully. All right, we're gonna get our horsey boys after these guys now. They're shattered, they're shattered, that's great. 
I feel like they're about to try and attack the wall. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening. Anyway. All right. Our boys here hopefully can hold off. Do what they need to do. I mean, they're kind of getting rid of the these guys. All right, they're about to get annihilated, so sadly, we're going to lose them. But I'm more interested in getting rid of the artillery than I am getting rid of those guys for the most part. The more we can get rid of that artillery unit, the better for me, the less I have to worry about them. Let's speed it up. All right, now we're going to bring them this way. And get them to attack. All right, so we still got to go. Um, I do apologize if you hear any humming in the background. It sounds like they're mowing the lawn outside. I picked the best time to record, don't I? <laughs> We're going to go ahead and charge them with our boys. Get them. I know they're exhausted or they're very tired, but still I'm trying to get rid of them as best as we can. So we can go ahead and eliminate these guys. And then these dudes already look like they're trying to run away. They're just not doing it. So I'm not sure what's up with them. We're balls to the wall, running in, and charge, my boys. Get rid of these cannoneers once and for all. All right. And with that, the battle is over. I'm going to go ahead and use the boys to their full potential and clean up as best as possible. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Not too bad. We only lost 337, which still kind of sucks, but that was majority of, I think, our Grenadier, that unit that was by the hole, and then the unit we sent out. Everybody else, I think, was fine, but not too bad. Not too shabby. Let's see. Our, <laughs> our cannons got all the kills, pretty much. These Grenadiers did really well. I'm loving my Grenadier units. All right, let's move on. Okay, so... Got a raid. The Hessians are still just kind of moving about here. Um, I'm kind of, I'm not going to lie. I'm like borderline wanting to just go and annihilate them at their hometown and see what happens. But I don't want to leave Hanover too undefended, at least just for the moment. So we're going to hold off on that just for now. We do have this big Polish army over here. I feel like they are already losing because... I don't see them recruiting much more, but they do have this defensive here. The best thing about it, we could leave that, honestly, alone and send the main army in to attack Coinsburg and just get rid of them outright. The other fun thing would be to come here. I think the best way to do it would be to come here, attack this army, have these guys reinforce, kick their butts, and then we'll have Coinsburg ready to go. So I think we might do that in this episode. Um, what we need to do here, though, at least for Russia, we definitely need to restock our army, and we're just going to recruit another lineman there. We're just going to recruit. And with that being said, we are going to, I think, conclude Poland from being a bothersome worry. First, I'm going to send these guys after them. I'm just going to auto-resolve it, get rid of them. We lost 26. That's not too bad. Easy trade-off. 
Move these guys back into position. So they're guarding. And then... We're going to march these guys out. Put them in. And we're going to go and attack... This army. Now, by doing this, we don't enact the citizenry. We don't have to worry about their defenses. We're just going to attack the army outright. And that's going to destroy their inside army if we can do this properly. Which I think we can. We've got enough artillery that I think we should be able to do this fairly easy. So I will catch you on the battlefield to hopefully end Poland. All right, welcome one, welcome all to the battlefield here. We've got ourselves set up on a nice little elevation that I think will be enough to deter and get these guys off. I do have some boys set up here on try to be on top of the hill to get as much elevation as possible to try and get some clean shots off. The other fun thing is going to be trying just to repel back anybody that we can see coming around. We got some hussars coming after us here as well. I do have some horsemen hidden in the trees. Uh, hopefully to guard off if I see them advancing any further. We're also kind of, not going to lie, we're, we're corner camping right now. So we can prevent any other kind of uh, assault. So we're going to hope and pray that that works. I've got a square formation right here. We've got some reserve troops back here. Grenadiers on their way as well. And the main thing is just to try and see if we can hit some of these dudes before, before anything else. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn the fire at will off just because I feel like it's not doing as much damage as I would like. We'll let these guys take care of them. And we're going to kind of focus fire right here just for the moment. See if I can get some shots off. Let's see. If I remember right, yeah, everybody's in order. So this order, we're going to target them. And try and do it something like this for right now. As these other horsies get closer... Let's reorganize. All right, we do have some horse regiments coming through. We're going to go ahead and square up here on the hill. Ooh. Just kind of total devastation, which works out for us. All right, now we're going to focus fire on these guys. And then have this one focus fire on them once we can. Let's see, they're entering in now? There we go. All right, we're actually going to move these guys up. A hair just to see if we can get them. Ah, frick. Wrong one. Main goal. That's what we're trying to do here. All right. We can get these guys back into their formations. The better thing is, is being on the hill itself means we're going to be able to, sh I think, get more shots off on these guys. All right, no, we don't need to go. F don't need to go square. Guys are good. Get back in formation. That's the glorious thing with having reserves. <laughs> Gonna bring them back up. Reconfigure the line.
And like I said, the biggest thing is to try and thin this out as best as possible. Try to cone it just right, too. All right, so now that we got that done, we can go ahead and start trying to fire on these guys as they're coming in. So far, so good. Nobody's attacking the right flank like I was thinking, so we might be able to go ahead and pull these guys off, but I'm gonna wait, reinforce our left. I'm gonna bring this one off, if anything. We'll bring them this way. Put these guys more behind the hill here, so they're a little bit defended. Alright, and then we can just start laying in fire right here. Fire and brimstone. You here. You here. You here. You here. Where that one we're gonna put back on that, and that one we're gonna put back on that as well. Don't know why that one's not in my group. You need to be part of group one, please. Let's see what's happening here. Cowabunga, dudes. Not doing too bad, to be quite honest. The only sucky part is the fact that the um, cannons themselves are... Like, these, these cannons, they reach a little farther. I don't know how, though. I guess because they're these guys are actually in range, but not them. So, we're going. what we're going to do is pull back a bit. We're going to keep these guys in the dip. Get a bigger line going, basically. And then we're going to hide these guys in the trees. And we're going to pull these guys back behind the hill. Just for now. As we're bringing everybody in here. So far, so good, though. Like, this is going to be good. If this actually pulls off correctly, like I want... I'm going to move these guys just a tad back just a little bit more. If we can pull this off correctly, this is going to be nice because we're going to be able to knock out that main army and just go take Coinsburg, and that should get rid of Poland. And in this game, I believe when you get rid of the entire faction, all armies disappear. They don't turn rebel or anything. They just disappear. So that's going to be kind of fun. All right, we do have... Some boys getting in. Looks like they're bringing in this artillery here. Start firing out this way. They're trying to unlimber. We see the general's bodyguard though, so we know they're coming. Uh, might be able to target that regiment with the horse. We'll do that instead. All right, square up. Now we'll take care of them. Like they're just out of range. Let's try and aim a little bit in the front here. Might be able to hit them better.
Now, the big thing, too, would be if I can get rid of all their horse, and I'm not worried about it now. Got General's Bodyguard. What other... I think it's just infantrymen now. We can go ahead and run in our horsey boys here. Bring them into the woods over here. Meanwhile, we've got a troop coming in. Let's see if we can penetrate them a little bit. Ooh, that was a good kill shot. Alright, we're going to square up again. Alright, we're going to attack these guys. I'm going to have all of them target them just for now. General Pasta making sweet and great again. Voice cracks and all. <laughs> all right, we should be able to... Hold on. Let's reform. We got boom, 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 boom. We're going to charge them. Actually, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Charge them. We're going to charge those guys. All right, we do have it now. Let's target those guys, those guys, those guys, and those guys. Everybody needs to attack them. <laughs> Need to try and get rid of the artillery as quick as possible. Don't worry about the whole the regiment of horse, just attack their artillery, please. It's fine, we're kind of distracting them with our horsey boys. Alright, line infantry has run away from there. So these boys we're gonna bring up on top of the hill here. Let's see. Got to get them within range or else they're not going to do much of anything. There we go. Oh, this is the battle right now. This is a good battle. All right, we're going to go canister shot now with those guys. See what they do. Some are broken, which means they're going to come back, just like these guys. Let's see if we can get some grenades off. Go, my boys! Worry not about your friends. Throw those grenades! Retreat! Fall back! Let's see what happens if we all aim this way. Or we're gonna hit some of our guys, are we? All 
Alright, and then... Honestly, we can all just focus fire on this right now. Because if they come back, we can just line up. Yeah, I think we're actually pretty good. Let's see if we can target this one that way. All right, we do have some guys coming off to the side here. Actually, I think they're all starting to getting ready to mass route. So we might actually be fine. Yeah, they're mass routing now. All right, get our grenadiers here. Broken, shattered, broken. Again, we'll see what happens. All right, we're going to tell them to stop firing at will, get them to go that way. And we're going to go after them. Same thing here. We're going to go after them. I think we're good. That should do it, people. That should be the battle. We have sustained minimal casualties. Still yet casualties, which kind of sucks. Knowing. But we were able to take them out. Go! Oh, and men. And that does it. Now, if I had some cavalry, I'd clean up the battlefield, but there's not much I can do as far as cleanup goes. So we're going to let them go, and we'll see what it looks like on the map. Hopefully, we can use what we have to go and take out Coinsburg itself and claim it for us. So we deploy 1,300 and, or 1,308. Uh, we lost 627, which does suck. But our artillery are pretty much fine. It's just our boys here need to be refilled. Um, everybody else, it, they lost majority of their army. So let's see. Who got the most kills? Did our howitzers? Our howitzers actually did good. 17, 22, 10. They got some experience. That's what we want to see. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and um, try and take the city, I guess, in the next turn. Because we can't get it at the moment. But their army is so destroyed that I don't think we have to worry too much about it. We should be able to get it. And also, if we wait a turn, they're going to have that done. And we can go ahead and start getting them. So, we'll see what happens in the next turn. Hopefully. Hopefully. We can take it out. If not, we have reinforcements here. Honestly, I'll go ahead and... Uh, do I want to... I don't want to do that just yet. The bad thing about this, okay? Because this is why... Oh, I know what I could do. Wait a minute. Let's see. Ah! Come on. Oh, come on. Crap. We're like legit out where we can't attack it. Oh, this is going to suck so hard. So what I'm afraid is about to happen, and it probably is, is that this army here is going to come and attack us outright. Now, I did do some damage to this army, but it ain't going to be enough to... I don't think this is going to be enough to withstand their onslaught, possibly. Along with whatever citizenry we have. <sighs> with Russia on the edge here too. Okay, I think we can sacrifice 
two units. Oh, that'll be better. That makes me feel better. Okay, we can do that. That'll work. Okay. It's gonna suck over here. Boy, look at all those Orthodox priests. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine though. Um, It's gonna suck. We still gotta get this army revamped too, so I'm gonna have to let them do their thing. We could very well get attacked by another Russian army. We got this one and this one that are full. So it very well could happen. Oh, I forgot. Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and move him over here and blockade this area. Perfect. I almost ended the turn and forgot about that. Oh, and you. Hmm. That's a navy. The fun thing is we could go and take that. Let's see, that's France. This is United Province. If I'd stop pirating. Let's attack that port. That will at least, um, us being in their port's going to cause some issues, so that'll be fine. All right. Ah, that worked. That worked out nicely. Okay, I'm going to end the turn just because I want to see if we can get this in this turn, in this next turn. We're going to see what happens. If it's a battle, though, that'll have to wait till next episode. All right, Noodles? Let's see what happens. Okay, we got a minor battle happening. Where I think we will be fine if I attack this outright. So I'm going to see what happens, okay? I'm not going to show you guys this battle, though, just because this is going to be rather quick. Okay, Noodles. So, some news. Um, I had to do a auto-resolve over here in Coinsburg because the game crashed on me in the middle of the battle. Which sucks because we had ju I just got everybody set up. And we were just getting started with it. And I was winning. I promise. <laughs> the next thing I know, boom, game crash. I was like, no. So we auto resolved, which I'm sure I took a lot more losses than I would have. But that's fine. Then we had a po one of the Polish armies decided to go towards Coraline, which because I had defenses there, I was able to hold them off and beat them with just citizenry. That was the garrison there. Now... Just like I thought would happen, we have the Poles coming to take Poland back from us. Are we going to let that happen? No, 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 we're not. We're going to hold Poland like crazy if we can. But you're going to have to wait and find out in the next episode for that one. So I appreciate you all, Noodles, so much for sticking by me and watching this video and getting here to the end. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Comment your thoughts down below and let me know what you guys would like to see in future Total War stuff or in a different game or whatever. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe and toodaloo.